and welcome to episode 7 of the Knitterarium podcast. My name is Ruth and this Knitting Sometimes Other Crafts podcast is coming to you from Westmeath in Ireland where I live. Today is Saturday the 14th of January and it is this is the first episode of the new year. So happy new year. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, I know a few of you have had some sound issues. Today I'm recording on a new device so I'm, I'm hoping that this might help sort some of those issues out for some of you. Do let me know either in the comments box below or um, in the Ravelry thread in the Knitterarium group. Um, if you are a new to me viewer, thank you for checking me out. I know there's a lot of knitting podcasts out there and all are equally as wonderful as each other. So if you've taken the time out to check me out, I do thank you. I hope you enjoy the episode. Um, if you catch me looking down, just check in my notes just to make sure I, I um, mention all that I'm supposed to mention. As I said, the, uh, there is a Nishuari and Ravelry group. You will find the show notes for this episode um, in the group. You can find me on Instagram as Nishuarium. I am the most active there. And if you want to check out any of the stories or the inspiration behind the, the Nishuarium patterns, then check out Nishuarium.com and under the words tab, you'll find all the stories so far written up there. I will put links to all those places um, just in the down bar below so it'll be easy for you to, to find those. I have a couple of sections for you today. First se um, section will be the our year of you shawl cal. I have some updates on that for you. We will have a happy feet section. We will have design corner. Uh, treasure trove section and an other crafts section. So I think we'll get started with the year of you shawl cal. In a Ravelry group we are running a series of shawl cals throughout 2017 and the first uh, the first shawl cal is spoil yourself and it is running until the end of February. Um, I have picked my pattern. I am knitting the Erna Farica pattern. This is my pattern from the Summer Memories collection. And it was originally knit in a lace weight yarn. Um, but I decided to uh, knit it in four ply. So I am using what not only did I decide to knit it in four ply, but I also decided to knit it in two colours. So my colour one is this Eden Cottage yarn. This is the Pendle four ply. This is the tag. And this colourway is Flowering Current. And the second colour I'm using is this one here. This is the Falkland uh, four ply yarn. From, again from Eden Cottage Yarns and it is in Cromer Pier. So they're my two colour choices for, for my shawl and the progress I have made progress oh. yarn is rolling off the table here so this is the progress I've made so far I am um, I'm just getting to knit on this on the weekends. Um, I really so it's a real spoil. It's a real spoil yourself for me because I just I pick this up and I knit on it. I don't worry about work knitting or anything else. So I'm using the flowering current for the garter sections and then the chromer pier for the lace sections. And that's the progress I've made so far. This yarn is so plump and squishy. Now the pattern did call for 
the lace weight to be knit on 3.5 millimeter. I'm knitting it, I went up to just a four millimeter. Um, I didn't want to lose the plumpness that's in this yarn. It's extremely soft and squishy and it's just, and so I wanted to keep a lot of that in it. So I only went up to a four ply, a four ply yarn on that. Now this I'm, is being kept in my Hawthorne Cottage bucket bag. Now the reason I'm showing you this is that Kate has sponsored one of the prizes for this first cab. So I'm going to show you what her bucket bags come with these little poppers at the top and then it folds down onto the little button here at the front. And it's a quilted, it's a quilted kind of bag so it is, it's lovely. And you can just fold down the top and work out of it. The inside of this one is, is a lovely bright yellow spot fabric. It's lovely. So that's what Kate's bucket bags look like because as I said, she has sponsored one of the prizes for for the our first um, our first cow. Excuse the rustling now, and it's this one here. It's in a beautiful Italian kind of print, um, city print, and it's got this nice red at the bottom, and then it has a red button on the front. And the inside fabric is uh, the same here as, as the handle. So that's one of the prizes for, um, that's one of the prizes that is up for grabs at the end of February for anyone who finishes um, their shawl. Any of the Nishimarium shawl patterns um, will qualify. You just go along to the Nishimarium Ravelry store and pick any of shawl and you can use it to enter, including any new releases. The other, the other, one of the other prizes we have for the shawl cal for this, for the first one, is um, some Green Elephant hand dyed yarn. Now Fiona sent along two skeins of yarn and we will use one of these in the first cal and the other one we'll use in one of the other cals throughout the year. So this one is uh, it's called Silk Moth and it's 75% um, superwash merino, 20% nylon, and then there's 5% silver stellina in it. And there's 400 meters to this skein of yarn. And it's this, these gorgeous browns and ready pinks, and there's these little touches of vivid purples and pinks down here. And it's lovely. And the shine off this and glitter off it from the stellina. So that's one skein of yarn. And the second skein is this electric blue colorway. And this is 75% superwash merino, superwash merino, excuse me, tripping over my words, and 25% nylon. And there is 425 meters to this 100 gram skein. And this is the second skein. So the winner of the yarn for the first one will most likely have the choice of which one they want and we will keep the second skein for one of the other cows throughout the year. If you want any more details on the themes for the other cows throughout the year, they are in the Ravelry group under the Year of You Shawl Cal in the chat thread. Come along there and you'll find all the details and the different themes. Also, I am, I'm going to be featuring some of the sponsors over the next few podcast episodes. So uh, in two weeks, I'm hoping to have our, one of our first sponsors, so either Kate or Fiona, um, and we'll be, I will be sending them a series of just short, quick questions for us to, uh, which I hope they'll, they'll answer and we'll be able to get to know them a little better. And I think that is all I have in the year of you. 
So we'll move on to happy feet. I finished another pair of socks. These are my cobblestone socks. Um, the pattern is cobblestone socks by Mina Phillips. This is sock one. I was here the last day and I just had the, I had just done the heel and I just had the foot and toe left, left to do. So I have dropped them. <laughs> so this is the cobblestone socks. The yarn I used for this was, this is Green Elephant yarn in Glass Case of Emotion and the contrasting yarn used for the heels and the cuffs was Admiral Schopel wool. I don't know what the number was. It's on my project page. Um, it, just has, it just has a number. It doesn't have contrasting toes. Um, I was working on these last Sunday when Sherlock started <laughs> and if you've been watching the new episode you'll know how great last week's episode was and I just kept knitting and knitting and I suddenly realised that I was, on the, I was on the toe and I had it nearly finished so I, I just didn't bother frogging it back so that's why it doesn't have contrasting toes I was too engrossed in Sherlock I think that's a, a, that's a valid excuse. This is the, the heel I used for this is um, a German short row heel. I like the fit, I like the fit of this German short row heel, it, um, it, it works for me and in each corner I pick up one to two extra stitches, just depends, whichever I think looks, uh, looks best and um, it just closes up that little gap because I do know some have um, a little bit of a problem with the, the, the gap. I did just pick up extra stitches in it. I did a one by one rib on these. I don't think this is a twisted one by one rib. I think that's what I was saying the last day. I couldn't remember. I don't think it is. I think it was just a one by one rib I did. So that's those. The finished pair of cobblestone socks. The I am down now to just one pair of socks on the needles and I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. I found I had, you'll remember a couple of episodes ago, uh, there was a lot of casting on and I, had, I have so many projects around me that I had to just, I had to start working on a lot of them and just getting them out of the way. I find for me three, three projects is just the right amount um, that I don't lose interest on one I can switch to something else and after that it just there's too many there it you know I, I have to I have to get some of the things finished and off the needles I'm not enjoying that they're just I don't like that they're just sitting there and I'm not working on them so I like to I like to get them off the needles um, uh, and that has been, that has happened for the last week or so. I've been trying to get things off the needles and uh, finished with. So I'm down to one set of socks on the needles and I think that's enough for the moment because I have a few other shawls on the needles that I need to get off as well. So for now I think one I think for now, one. So the pattern I'm using for this is the um, Vintage Fairy Lights by Curious Handmade. This was my Christmas Eve cast on. Um, and I, I cast them on and I knit on them for Christmas Eve. This was sock one. I had cast it on. I had these on my uh, Knit Pro Symphonies, but because I have only, but because I have only one set of those, I, 
but because I've only one set of those, I um I couldn't knit the two. I couldn't knit two. As you know, I I knit my socks concurrently on DPNs. That's my preferred method. So I could just cast on one. So when I finished up some of the other pairs of socks in the last episode, I um took my knit rosings and I transferred sock one onto it. And because then I had more sets of DPNs, I was able to cast on sock two. Um, after when, once I finished the cobblestone socks, so this is sock two. I just got the the ribbon is complete on this now, so I'm ready to start the leg on it. So sock one and sock two. The yarn I'm using for this is Elm Tree Yarns in the. This is her Marley uh, colorway. This is a. I love this yarn. It's lovely. It is superwash merino, nylon, and silver stellina and the glitter off this is lovely I'm really, in, I'm really enjoying this yarn it's lovely so that is that is the only um, pair of socks I have currently on the needles and I am housing those in my lovely Eldenwood craft bag by Emma and I love this bag I had my eye on some of the this fabric that she had for and I was lucky enough to, I was lucky enough to, to get it in one of her updates before Christmas, along with the matching notions pouch. The other thing is, I knew there was something else. Ellie from Craft House Magic is having um, a sock cal in her Ravelry group, where you try a technique or a method or something you haven't done before with socks. And I, I was thinking about what, what would I what would I try? And I think I'm going to give Magic Loop a go. So once I finish the, the vintage fairy light socks, I'm going to cast on a pair of socks using Magic Loop. Now I, I did try Magic Loop before and I didn't like it. I went back to my DPNs. I like the DPNs. So we'll see how this goes. So if that's of interest to you, do hop over to um, Ellie's Ravelry group and check that out. That's all I have in Happy Feet. So we'll move on to the design corner. During the week, I released Dying of the Light. Just get it for you now. This is this is Dying of the Light. This is a garter stitch and eyelet with short rows worked throughout it, shawl. And it is, it's really long. It's, more, it's lovely. This pattern will qualify for any of the shawl cals. So if you want to cast it on, you can. There is still there's still lots of time. So the length of it is now I'm five foot in uh, in height so it's definitely one full and about half again. So it is really big. And it is lovely. It uses our, um, approximately 800 meters of the main color, and then the contrasting color, about 350 meters of that. And as I said, the inspiration and the story behind Dying of the Light can be, you can read that on my um, website, knitterarium.com. So that is Dying of the Light. That's my newest release. I love it. It's one of those huge big scarves that you can or shawls that you can just wrap around you and it's lovely i really enjoy that one i think i might knit um another version of that for the next shawl cam myself so what else i think most of my knitting this week has been um on a new design now i can't 
can't show too much of it, but it is in this colour. This one is going to be called Peaceful Moments. And it is, it's going to be a crescent shaped shawl. So that's all I can show you of that. That one, most of my knitting has been on that. It's, it's I'd say another couple of days and it'll be ready to come off the needles. And then it will head to my uh, tech editor. And that's all I have for you for Design Corner. So that leads me on into Treasure Trove actually because I picked up some Sherwood yarn. This is Blue Face Leicester sock yarn. Uh, this colorway is Holly Blue and this colorway is Blue Steel. And these are for some, these are for some new designs. These two. Um, they naturally complement each other and uh, that was designed that way because the new designs um, have they complement each other as well. So I picked there were the yarns I picked. So I did get those during the week. The other acquisitions I had this week was Got some of the um, another Elm Tree yarns. There, this is the fantastic one of the Fantastic Beasts colorways that was being tied up. Um, this is Superwash Merino nylon, and I think it's Silver Stellina in it. Is it silver or gold? Gold, I think actually. This is it. It's lovely. This is probably going to be for socks. You know how I like yellow socks. Yellow socks make me smile. So that was, I think that was the only acquisition I got. I'm very pleased with that. So that is, that's all I have in uh, Treasure Trove, just a very small section. I did I try to behave, but Victoria, from Eden Cottage Yarns had an update during the week and she had Pendle 4 ply in the update and um, I may have purchased some of those but it is lovely and squishy I couldn't resist it and I may have gotten a few colourways but we'll show those on the next episode I think we'll move on to other crafts. <laughs> so in other crafts this week, I was trying out some deco patching. I had picked up these little stars. Uh, I didn't take actually the packet down. They're just um, kind of like, just little cardboard ones with little string on them. And um, I just tried these ones out on the smaller, on the smaller size, just to see how I got on with it and they came out quite well. I'm quite pleased with them. So I have two little ornaments, two little ornaments ready for the tree for this year. I do have some bigger pieces that I want to try and now that I'm familiar with deco patching and how to do it, um, I feel a bit more conf confident now in trying those bigger pieces. Uh, I have a couple of more of these little stars um, so I'm hoping to do another little bit of that this week. This week I'm also going to be trying a little bit of needle felting. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing how, how I get on with that. Excuse me. And I think really that was all I was doing in the other crafts section. Yeah. So I think that's a all I have for you today. I think I have everything. I'm looking around at the mess I have made around me to see if I've covered everything. I think I have. One of the other things I just wanted to just quickly say before I went was if you um, if you have any other sections that you would like to see featured, please do get in touch and let me know. Um, I'm thinking I might have an introduction to designers or makers um, as 
that section will be dedicated to getting to know different designers and makers. As most of the independent designers and makers, they're, they're small business people, um, I think sometimes it's nice to get to know them. They're not big, they're not big companies, that's why we support them. Um, and it's nice to get to know them. So, if you have any other sections that you'd like to see featured, please do get in touch with me and we will um, see what we can do about those. So, I think that's it all and we'll leave it there. We'll see you in the next episode. Happy knitting. Bye.